Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to hesitantly show you how to create a daily Dutch page or daily Dutch door. <coughs> and I say hesitantly because I, I was requested to do it and I don't like doing videos that I'm not comfortable with what I'm showing you. And I got all this stuff the same time you guys got all this stuff and so I'm having to work it out in order to create a video that hopefully helps you guys instead of hurts you. And I came up with a way that I believe is easy. I don't know that it's the easiest way, but it is a way to do it and um, to, to accomplish the goal in the least amount of steps, I believe, all right? Now, let me just show you the way I've got it working now. And this is very, very, very rough because I just want y'all to be able to see what's going on as opposed to making it pretty. The fours indicate that's week four. All right. And for every week, I have a, the first page of every week is not a daily. It's just the first page of the week. If you look at what I've got here, see, I've got the first page and I just wanted that one to have, it look like the book is closed. The dailies are closed over on the right. Um, if it's a day of the week, it needs a page. Just that's the rule. If it's a day, you need a whole page for it that has the whole eight and a half by 11 or whatever. And then the little book is on that page. All right. And I'm not going to use the Make Dutch Door at all in what I'm going to show you. Mainly because I think he created it for like very odd shaped things. You know, like the whale that he showed us. And like I used it for the little girl. But for regular old squared off stuff, it's I think it's harder. I, I think it's just easier to just go with what I'm going to show you where I use the parts of the tools as opposed to the one tool that does it all. All right. He has given us a way to do each one of the steps individually without it just bam, it's done. And, and doing it individually in my mind is easier. All right. Y'all decide for yourselves. So every, every week, has eight pages the way I've designed it. Before I start on week five, let me, I need to select and delete that because I, I did this already and I don't want it. Now, I do need two pages that have all the fives on it. That's week five. So I wanna go ahead and create a copy. So if I do, I think, let me, let me select it and then do copy and paste to and see you need to pay attention to where it's going to paste i want it to paste to um page 13 and it'll put it next to the 13. now if it had gone somewhere else it's easy enough to just drag and drop it to where you want it to go so you're not locked into wherever you you know you don't have to worry about deleting or anything just drag it to where you want it all right, so I'm starting out with two page fives. Done and back. Well, let me just select it. Uh, let me just, there, okay. This is where I'm gonna start. First thing I'm gonna do, this is the first landing page, I'll say. It's the one that's gonna have the calendar on it. I'm gonna put the calendar, oops. Just draw it on. And somehow all those things got a lot bigger. I've been doing this several times and it never has been that fat. Let me reduce the... There. I don't like that thick, thick line. And pull it up some. So it's seven rows uh, seven columns by one row the way i have designed my particular calendar now in order to put the dates 
I'm going to go to the little I on your pages toolbar and do add month overview. And this is the thing that he automated that before you had to choose that, then go and choose this. And now it just automatically does it. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Ed. All right, do create. And that creates a little tiny little, tiny little calendar that I'm going to drag over here to the to the right left corner and make it bigger. So I'm on week five, and I know that that's the 28th, 29th, and 30th. So I'll put those in place. No. See, I, when I get to this stage, I end up having to turn that table off because I keep selecting it. I go to enable type filtering and just be able to choose text. That way I'll stop choosing the calendar. I mean the, the table and just drag these into place. Then I'm going to go to the one through four and pull them up. Move that June out of the way and grab one through four. Drag them up to the top because that's next month or July. Now, all of this probably has already been done um, in your existing calendar. So this may be steps that I'm showing you that aren't necessary for you to do. This is creating it from scratch. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. The only reason I need it is because I didn't know what days went where and that helps it, makes it very useful for me. Now I'm going to select the what I want to turn Sorry, I, I thought I would use one of those old-fashioned papers, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. So I'm going to go back to um, these guys. I kind of like this because it's got stitches on it. So if I select it, and you can't see them until... So now this is the center I mean the right side that's going to go on the first page that might be too loopy but that's all right we'll go with it for a minute anyway so this is my page one or the landing page now I'm going to go to page two I'm going to copy this little guy right here the the flipper copy it and then go to the next page my second page five and do paste in place so that it is exactly the same place it was on the previous screen now I'm going to duplicate that duplicate it and then do uh, flip H see when I do that and it doesn't work I feel like I must not have it centered some kind of way. It should be exactly the same. Why is it not closing? Oh, it's not letting me select it because I've got the filter turned on. Well, it doesn't have the stitches either. I, miss, I picked the wrong one. But see, that's not centered. So I'm going to select them and try to center them. Select both of them. There. Hopefully that's it. Okay. Now that will be my flipper. I've only created one page. Now I'm going to add a window up at the top or add a rectangle shape and click on the button over on the left. Tell it link to page click on the right arrow and I want it to link to page 13 which is the one version see it's just easier to 
no that's the one that's got the calendar because that's the one that's got just one one side and see when I moved it that's gonna put that that one darn oh well we're gonna go with it so that's the one it's gonna go to do okay I know what I did wrong if I, I unselected it when I pointed to it it's got to have a yellow box around it for it to work so do okay and then I'm gonna say as window so now it shows through and I, it's like having a window in front of that calendar. Now I can just stretch it out a little bit because it was not showing it. All right. Now, if for some reason, just if you wanted something on the left side or on the right side, you know, yours weren't spread out this wide, then just do exactly what I just did. Create another rectangle and tell it to look here, you know. So now I've got the first two pages created. Now let me go to this. Now I'm going to select page 14, which are, has the double, and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste. And I'm gonna paste enough for every day. So I've got, this is Monday that's already created. Then I'm gonna do Tuesday. I'm just, it's, it's not going to say Tuesday on it, but I'm going to say Tuesday so that I know that's how far I've gotten. Then paste to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So now I've got all the pages I need. Yay. And it's got the, all of them have the window on them. So it's looking at the page 13. So the work is pretty much done. <laughs> you know, you want to title your um, day. Go back. Now, where am I? So that's the opening page. This is the landing. So I'm going to write that on it. Landing. Then I'm going to go to the next page. And see, I need to, to change where it's flipping because I've, I messed up. Let's see. This is Monday. Go to the next page. And, of course, you'd do it right Tuesday. However you want it to look. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. See, it's simple, simple. Sunday. All right. And at, on Sunday, I can write on Monday and say something and say something and then go to the previous page. And those two things are there already. And, I, you know, this is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to it. Easy to do. All right. Now, if you didn't like where it was folding, you could always go to the gear and clear the turn area and create a new one done and go back to uh, the rectangle or shape and set it again. But you'd need to go to every page if you all the pages were right. So just do done. And he also said and it does work you can have multiples of these in a document so if you don't if you like on the the monthly calendar you don't want this little short fold you want it to be a full page so just create another one of these little guys and that's all there is to it i know it seems like it ought to be a whole lot harder than that but that was it okay um and because I made the multiple copies, every page has its little window. And if I decide later that I want to add a window over on the left side, I can do that. Now, I would have to do copy uh, in place. Easy enough. And that's all you have to do. I hope that helped. Y'all have a great day. Bye.